the New York couple loses uh, their life savings um, and uh, have to move in with their uh, brother uh, and on their way down stumble into a commune or a, a bed and breakfast that turns out to be a commune and uh, have a magical experience and decide, well, let's try this lifestyle because we had such a great time and the other, the alternative is um, a terrible situation at, a, at his ass brother's house. And so they, they give it a shot and George can't handle it and Linda dives deep into it. You know, uh, the fact that he uh, said yes to this movie blew David and I away because he was kind of the dream person to get. And you think in your head, okay, Alan Alda is a guy who um, seems like a really nice guy, really kind guy, super talented guy. You know, he's a he's an icon. You know, and and and, uh, and then you meet him, and he's a hundred times like uh, better than that. He was uh, the most gracious, kind, loving, talented um, man I've ever met, and he. Um, was amazing at I improvisation, and he's just—he's just a—he was just a, he's a amazing person to get to know. We always thought um, Justin would be the guy. In, in earlier, in the earlier drafts, uh, we called him Justin because we we're like, you know, Justin, Justin will be this guy. And then, um, and then as we kept writing drafts after drafts after drafts, his name changed, but like. We're like, Justin has to do this. And we were lucky enough to get Justin. And, and he, you know, exceeded expectations because he's unbelievable. Um, and he came with so many great ideas. And he just, he's crazy talented. And so it was fun watching Justin and working with Justin. He couldn't be a nicer guy. He's just got a, a great energy when he comes on set. And he's super creative and always throwing out ideas. and. Um, just a good guy.